A while ago we had the Exceed TXL and today we have the RX which is its younger system. We did say before that this is Exceed's first year in the UAE and they are one of the most luxurious car brands in China and they just made their debut here in 2024. The Exceed RX is a subcompact SUV. It comes with a 2 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine that produces 260 horsepower and approximately 400 newton meters of torque that is coupled with a seven speed dual clutch transmission that connects the power to all four wheels it gives you an all-wheel drive system that is mostly biased to the front wheels i'll give you a quick rundown on the basics of how it drives and what you should look out for so we can start with the average fuel consumption which at the moment the car tells me I'm doing about 10 liters per 100 kilometers which is pretty good for an SUV. Now you might think that the 4 cylinder turbocharged engine is going to be a little bit weak for uh, an SUV but I'm doing 90 kilometers an hour at the moment and I need to pick up the pace to 120. All I have to do is just put my foot down and the turbo spools and you can immediately feel the response and the push from it. And that does not hinder the comfort and the drivability of the car itself. So for starters, the suspension and the tires are doing a pretty good job in absorbing the bumps uh, in the road. And the RX feels quite nimble for an SUV. It is sort of a sporty styled SUV, so you get what you expect from uh, when you turn around. The RX also comes with quite a big arsenal of driver assists. So for starters, you have lane keeping assist and you've got the adaptive cruise control that you all got used to. You can control it from the left side of the steering wheel over here where you can find the buttons for it as well as a speed limiter. Now that is one of many of the functions that the car has over here to keep you safe on the road. I can scroll through them over here in the menu to check all of the things that are available such as uh, blind spot alert, and if you wanna, if, if you stop on the side of the road and you wanna open the door, the car alerts you if there is another car coming in down the lane. And one of the most impressive bits is this one. So in front of me on the steering wheel over here, we have what looks like a small sensor. And what that does is that it detects if you are sleepy or being distracted long enough, the car will give you an alert on the dashboard to tell you that you are being distracted. It's the same thing for being too sleepy. So if the car sees that you are nodding every now and then, and you're closing your eyes it will detect that you are getting sleepy and it will project a message for you on the dashboard that says you are too sleepy in terms of driving modes you can adjust them over here in the rotary knob in the middle over here where you have seven driving modes starting with eco normal sport you've got snow sand off-road and mud it's pretty nice this actually brings me to one of the nicest points that I find over here. You have on the right bottom corner of the screen your own personal assistant. Now for this personal assistant to activate it, you've got three ways of doing so. You could either touch the screen over here, tap on it. I'm here. Tap again to let it sit down and basically turn off. You have a button over here that looks like somebody speaking and if you press it, it activates the assistant. And my favorite way of doing it. Hi Exit. I'm here. Please lower down the windows. Okay. You also have pedal shifters on the side over here that let you choose what gear you want to go up to all the way up to the seventh gear in this DCT. In front of you over here, you've got a heads up display that shows your speed and how many kilometers you have left on your tank, as well as your cruising speed. From here, we can talk about the exterior design and then later on, we're going to talk about the interior a little bit more. So the exterior looks amazing especially from the front because it looks like a spaceship on the road mainly because of the way the led is designed in the front and at night it looks menacing the headlights have led technology and they are automated as well so when you go into a really dark area the car is gonna open the high beams but if you want to control everything manually you've got all the controls over here under the steering wheel but also, the rear of the car looks nice as well. The design of the LED strips is beautiful, and at night when you approach the car, under that LED strip for the brake light, you have a bunch of blue diamonds that illuminate when you get closer to the car. And that all adds up to the sleek and lovely design of the RX. And to complement that design, they chose to go with 20-inch alloy wheels 
with a beautiful lovely design as well and when we talk about the interior you've seen it yourself it is lovely the whole place is made out of leather and it's white so it gives you that spacious luxurious feel the seats are pretty comfortable and you've got both cooling and heated seats for the front and the rear seats as well which i'm noticing that it's slowly becoming a standard in most of exceeds models in the center console you've got a continuation of the leather with stitching accompanied with two places to put your phone over here one of them is just for storage and the other one acts as a wireless charger as well behind it you have this small curtain like door i guess so when you open it you've got two cup holders that can actually be detachable so it gives you more space over here and if that's not enough you also have this this little strap of fabric that you can pull and when you do that you have like a small hidden compartment and if that's not enough close it press this button over here and it opens the doors to eternal freedom so you get quite a lot of space over here to store some items and you have a small rotary plastic dial that if you twist it starts to push some of the ac into it so it acts sort of like a fridge underneath the center console you've got more storage space so you can put quite a lot of stuff as well over here and you'll find one usb a and a usb c which you can use to connect into the apple carplay and the android auto and if you still want to use the 12 volt socket you've got it on the passenger side and on top over here we find the controls for the panoramic sunroof that you can use to open it up and it stretches all the way to the back you also get a full audio system from sony where you can find it over here a couple of tweeters over there and you've got some more in the back and obviously i don't have to tell you a lot about it you also have a rgb or an rgb illumination strip on top of the dashboard you've got some of it over here and you can control up to 64 colors if i'm not mistaken you can select them over here in the menu if you want to take the car off the road you might need to turn off the traction control which you can find over here it's just a touch of a button and next to it you've got quick access to hill descent control as well as the 360 camera so if you're trying to park somewhere or doing less than 30 kilometers an hour you can just tap on it and it'll give you a 360 panoramic view of the surroundings around your car the doors are a little bit gimmicky as well so if you want to open them you've got a small button over here when you click on it it unlocks the door but if you are a little bit old-fashioned like me and you prefer proper handles you can still use the handle that they give you over here and one thing me and Fadi we keep saying and we keep talking about when we review cars is that when you want to control the AC we don't like it to be in the touch screen and this is where Exceed gave you both options if you like to use it over here which you can set the fragrance as well this is the one point I forgot to mention is that you've got three different types of fragrances that you can choose you can go from neutral to cure to sport neutral gives you more of a leafy and grassy smell cure gives you more of a menthol smell and sport we haven't tried it yet so we can try it out now i'm gonna put it to five so you can smell it. and back to the ac controls you've got them over here in rotary dials next to the driving modes so it is very convenient and it's right there within reach this brings me to the last point that i have about the rx is that it's something that you don't find in a lot of cars nowadays they might give you all the lovely tech or all the features but what's really nice over here and that it's been done properly is their focus on the ergonomy of the controls so i'm just sitting over here and i feel like i'm sitting properly and everything is within reach everything is exactly where you expect it to be and where you think it should be i'm trying to figure out what the smell of sport is i think maybe it's kind of like a french cologne that kind of sums up what the rx is capable of and what it offers the last thing i can tell you about is the price the starting price of the rx is 135,000 dirhams as of the day of writing this video so it might change in the future but keep in mind is that that starting price is for the front wheel drive version and then you can make your way up all the way to the all wheel drive version if you need to know more about the trim levels and their prices and what they offer you can visit yellowmotor.com 
our website to check them out but as always i want to hear your opinions so let us know what you think about the rx overall leave them down in the comments for us below if you enjoyed this episode leave a like don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode